will start off by using April Skin Magic Snow Fixing Foundation and this is the shade number 21 and this is too light for me. Actually, this is the first time that I'm trying this and my shade should be number 23. But oh well, we'll try to do something about this one. I know that I look a bit ghostly right now but we'll try to do something about this later on. Then next, we'll set it off with a powder and I'm using here the Caradium Full Length Dewey Cake Foundation and I'm just applying it to see the powder puff that comes with it. And now for the brows, we'll try to make it natural as much as possible. So I'm using here the 3W Clinic Auto Eyebrow Pencil. The first thing that we're going to do is line a straight line below the brows like so and then draw a parallel line above and then when you get to the arch slant it down and then fill in the rest of the brows and now i'm just letting the hair strands using the maybelline new york fashion brow 24 color matcher and this is the shade number five or dark brown <music> And now for the eyeshadow, I'll be using this Pro Shadow from Clio. First, I'll be starting with the shade Silky Primer and I'll be applying that all over my lids up to the brow bone area. And then next, take the Holy Orange shade and then apply that all over the lids as well up to the brow bone area. Don't be afraid to apply a generous amount of this one. And then apply the same shade on the outer half of the lower lash line. And then taking a blending brush, take the matte brown shade from this palette. And then apply that on the outer half of the crease area. Just make sure that everything is blended. And now taking this NYX Glitter Cream Palette, I'll be using that orange glitters right there and then i'll be applying that all over my lids using my fingers make sure that it is cosmetic grade because ordinary glitters is very dangerous to your eyes the next take the matte brown shade again and then apply that on the outer half of the lower lash line using an angled brush and for the liner i would like to keep it soft and natural so i'll be using here the love liner liquid by msh labo and this is the shade brown so i'll be doing that famous korean line the flick of the line should point downwards like so and then apply a little bit on the lower half of the lower lash line and then i'll be taking this eyeliner from dabo and this is shade candy cotton which is a beautiful metallic pink shade and then apply that on the inner corner of the lower lash line and for the waterline i'm using this nyx jumbo pencil in the shade milk curl your lashes and then apply mascara here I'm using La Roche Posay mascara. Use the tip of the wand and then lightly tap it on the roots of the eyelashes so that it will create a strong base. And then afterwards, use the whole spoolie to apply mascara. And for my false lashes, of course, my all-time favorite from Naked Beauty PH, and I'm using this style number 23. And let's contour. Here, I'll be using this Club VIP kit from Cleo, and I'll be using that contouring shade right over there. So I'm using here a blending brush, and then I'm contouring here my nose, making sure that the edges are well blended. And one technique that I saw from Pony, makeup artist, is she also applies contour powder on the septum area, right over there, and also below the lips to create a fuller lips. And then I'll be contouring the sides of my face as well to create an illusion of slimmer face because my face is so huge. And for the blush, I'll be using here the Freedom Makeup Pro Blush 
in the palette pink and bronze so I'll be using that peachy shade and, and I'm applying that on the top of the apples of my cheeks creating a high blush and for the lips this is the most interesting part I'll be using here the Rire or Rire and this is the lip powder it's powder in consistency but when it touches your lips it becomes really wet so I'll be applying that on the center of my lips and then I am just blending the edges using my fingers And for that gradient effect, I am using here the MAC Queen Loving You Tint Glow and this is the shade New Yorker Red and I'll be applying that on the center most part of my lips using a dabbing motion I'll be creating the gradients by blending the edges using my fingers For the final touch for that dewy effect, I'm using here the 3W Clinic Makeup Pearl Mist. This has gold specks in it which is so perfect. Wait for it to dry and then we're done. See that amazing glow it creates? And that's it! Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button and then subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. I'll be posting all the details below. If you want me to review any of your products ever or if you want me to try your products, just email me down below and we'll talk about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Bye!